what is up youtube welcome back to the channel market monday is the video today a long video 20 minutes i'm gonna need you guys to stick with me through this video i'm gonna try to do it in one tank probably gonna have some commentary errors but a lot to get through in this video we got team of the week trading market some harvest part two investments a series two basically confirmed date some bo jackson information but a whole lot to get into we're going to start things off. We're going to go through the, kind of the structure of our Market Mondays going forward. We're going to be using last week's structure. So going through, going to start with our 89 Team of the Week investments. Last week, it was James Conner and Xavier McKinney were the two cards we bought last week. And it was 45 k and under for each of these cards at the time. They were the cheapest training, but we're going to get into the training market a little bit. But the training market has basically been crashing, and I don't see it really ever going back up. But 89 Team of the Week investments last week, and really the last couple weeks, They've been slightly profitable, but just overall not the just top of the line greatest investment. They were, I mean, weeks one through six, man, we were making 20% per card. It was really honestly insane the amount of profit we were making. The margins are getting a little, a little, week by week, they're getting slimmer and slimmer. And this week, nothing really is going to change as well. We have Harvest Part 2 dropping this weekend. So just like last weekend, we basically had a sharp sell-off date of Wednesday night for our Team of the Week investments. This week, it's going to be the same thing. We want to sell off our 89 Team of the Week investments by Wednesday night because we know Thursday, that's going to be the reveal. So this week, what are the Team of the Week? Because really, the 89 Team of the Week investments now are strictly tied into how good these sets are because the way training market is we can't rely on training going up anymore so it's completely reliant upon what are the team of the week heroes this week this week sorry honestly not the best elvis dumerville now he has 90 power move 90 finesse move with 79 block shed i'd say he's a liability in the run ravens broncos theme team i think he is on a couple more the other card jake Plummer. Broncos Cardinals theme team scrambler archetype, which is a little bit confusing to me, but he is 86 speed, so he, he will get escape bars. I don't know what that 95 overall threshold for scrambler, if they get any other special abilities, because I know 95 overall is kind of like, basically you can get new abilities at a certain, you basically get like secondary abilities at a certain archetype. Jamal Adams, on the other hand, I think this is a very good card. Now, I know we've said Jabril Peppers wasn't a good card, but Jamal Adams is a little bit different why it's basically just because of his theme teams seahawks and jets are two probably top five theme teams at least from the meta or the competitive side of madden with robbie anderson making jets really good and then seahawks got like dk Metcalf and those type of cards solid solid theme teams we'll talk about him in a little bit patrick mahomes i'm a Chiefs fan patrick mahomes is probably my favorite player i'm the most biased this card i'm sorry this card it's trash he's one throw power less to be able to get gunslinger and he has 75, 75 speed, so he does not get escape artists. This is the most pointless 95 overall quarterback in the game. The only abilities he will get are set feet lead and pass lead elite, unless they somehow make him be able to get gunslinger. Ah, I have some choice words from EA Sports. Patrick, this is probably his only card he's going to get for the next month or two, and he's pretty much just, he has never really been a meta card, and he's not going to be meta again this year, so I'm just not going to be able to use him, because I personally think you need Gunslinger. He's basically be throwing against the Blitz, because, you know, the, the Patrick's release that they give him in-game is also really long. So overall, very disappointing for the Team of the Week set cards, personally. The Jamal Adams is a pretty damn good card. We'll get into him and, like, what price we kind of think he's going to be at, but... And the 90 overall team of the week because we are also getting an overall update so you notice the team of the week heroes were 90 for overalls and basically now the 89s are going to be 90 so when are we buying these cards well tuesday we always buy at 3 p.m six in your time or after and the sell time is usually the same thing but on wednesday and we do have a strict cutoff date wednesday night of course i don't know what price we're gonna be buying these cards at you're gonna have to watch the no money spent tomorrow or be in the discord for kind of an updated price that we're targeting these 90 overall team of the week cards at for the limited time team of the week cards last week ben roethlisberger was probably the most disappointing team of the week limited in terms of how much coins we made off him i ended up buying five ben roethlisbergers over the course of the week wednesday night bought one for 537 and then you'll see kurt when kurt cousins came out I bought Ben Roethlisberger at 500k, it was 480, and then two at 450, but I bought those like Thursday and Friday, kind of when the harvest market crash came. I sold one Ben Roethlisberger for 617, one for 600, and now the rest I've been selling at about 520,000. That 524 is actually mine on the auction house. In total, 
I bought low at five big bends. I only made like 100k, like combined off of all five. So it was probably the most disappointing week. And the only reason Big Ben really didn't go up was because the Kirk Cousins that came out on Thursday, well, Friday, but we got confirmation on Thursday that he was going to get Hot Route Master even without powering him up. So Big Ben basically went from the cheapest Hot Route Master to like, why would you, if you want to get a Hot Route Master quarterback, just go buy Kirk Cousins. There's no reason to buy Big Ben now unless you're a Steelers fan. So the demand for Big Ben basically went away when Kirk Cousins came out that's why he basically didn't go up from like 500 to 700 he basically went from 500 to at 1.600 but now he's back down to like 520 now jamal adams on the other hand overall stat wise this card isn't much different than jabril peppers but with the theme teams of seahawks jets i do think he has a really good ceiling of course we don't know what price i do think he's gonna be a little bit more expensive probably around that 600k mark but i think he can get up to like bro from like 600 to 750 of course i can't i'm not gonna know the price so i don't want to see any comments like what are we buying jamal adams at i have no clue i don't actually look at the prices until wednesday night when we actually buy them but now moving on to the limited time market in limited this last week were really really good nick bosa well two meta high meta cards nick bosa we bought at 410,000 coins or less that was friday night i ended up picking up three and currently now he's going for 550,000, so about an 85 to 100k profit per card which of course is always solid profit is profit tron armstead also actually went up to around that 500 i sold mine Finally, I sold my last one off for 585,000 coins. And then Robbie Anderson, the big money maker this past week, it took a while because PlayStation, he was like 650,000 coins. All Friday on Xbox, he was like 750 to 800. But finally, as the night went along, Robbie Anderson crept down and I picked one up for 701 and 690. And now currently, he is going for 900,000 coins, trying to get about 920 for him. I will say, with Robbie Anderson, if you have Robbie Anderson, don't be super super greedy like holding this card over a week because the minute a wide receiver comes out with the same speed as robbie anderson expect robbie anderson to drop a couple hundred thousand coins in price so if you have robbie anderson look to just take your profit if you bought for anything basically under eight hundred thousand you're making profit hopefully you bought that seven hundred thousand mark at least 750 or under for robbie try to sell him anything really above 900k is solid for drill preppers though if you notice on my last no money spent, I actually did not invest in real peppers. Probably the first limited I hadn't invested in since Kenny Clark and James Robinson. And it was really just because of the price. I was trying to get him at originally 300,000 coins. I thought he'd slip down to that Saturday night. He really only got to 330 and I wanted at least 320 or less for him. And he just never got to that price. So it's a perfect learning example of just don't pay, but don't basically over invest or just don't like take an investment because it's just a limited time card and as you can see Jabril Peppers really hasn't gone up if you have Jabril Peppers though I do think there will be probably a window later on this week that you can sell for like 380 to 400k problem is is the card now with Jamal Adams especially coming out he's just not that high meta of a card if you're going to come out with a limited 95 overall 92 speed is a little too old probably should add 93 94 speed but you saw the sale prices of all my limiteds we're now going to be transitioning into the training market because it's kind of been a hot commodity in my comments in my discord of like should we invest in training training is so low like is it ever going to go up like when is it going to go up my issue with training as well as with this harvest promo we only have one limited in packs every weekend instead of two like most feared and with blitz blitz is going to use the blitz bits i don't think it's really going to use training that that much training just doesn't have the same demand as it did like a month ago pretty much there's no real point for training you don't like it personally like i didn't even rip any rerolls this weekend because i wasn't that interested in pulling a jabril peppers and there was only one limited in packs and i think a lot of people were the same way and it's why we saw training and why i told you guys basically last market monday this is coming thursday now i did say training was going to start at a low price on friday and kind of rise throughout the weekend and it did to some degree it rose, the, ro rose. it rose a little bit like Saturday afternoon, but as soon as the Jabril Peppers came out of packs, the training market crashed because there's no reason now after to like buy training for a reroll. And the training market going forward, I just don't see it ever going back up. With co We have content coming out every single weekend now, probably the next two months. Like We'll, we'll get into that. Like, we got like two straight months of content training unless there is a super in-demand reroll, which is like guaranteed profit, a loophole of some sort, training is just never gonna basically rise like after a week we're not we don't we're not, we're not gonna have a dead point where there's like it's just i don't see training ever going back up it's like what 13 coins for training it's like 40k for an 89 right now 
it, I just don't, I don't really ever see it going back. Of course, you could always snipe training and sell, like, arbitrage method at Wednesday, but the wildcard Wednesdays have been really disappointing the last couple of weeks, so that's really my thoughts on the training market as a whole. I don't really ever see it going super high ever, probably for the next couple months. For the November calendar, we are talk we talked about this last week, but Harvest Part 1, the 12th, Harvest Part 2, the 19th, the Blitz, the 26th, and I think Season 2 is going to be dropping on. The numbers aren't there, but it's December 3rd. It's pretty much the Friday in between the Blitz promo and the week after Season 2 is probably going to be the start of the Christmas Day promo. It's a perfect kind of dead week in terms of, and like I've been saying, there's not going to be a lot of dead weeks going forward. And why do I say Season 2 is going to be dropping on December 3rd? Well, it has to do with the Team Builder 2 goals. The objective list expires on the Thursday morning, the 2nd of December. We've seen basically with Team Diamonds, with Team Builder Part 2s, whenever a Team Affinity objective list expires on the Thursday morning, the following Friday, like the next day, we seem to get some sort of new content with Team Affinity. Team Affinity is tied in to kind of the Season 1 and Season 2, just kind of as a whole. So I really think it's a perfect opportunity, and the dates kind of line up where Season 2, I think we're, I know it's like two or three weeks away, but I was kind of holding this for the Market Monday video. I think Season 2 is going to be dropping the 2nd of December, so you can kind of maybe plan out your power-up passes in the next coming weeks depending on what overall i don't know like i don't know how what season two is going to be i know we're going to get like what the 90 probably like a 95 overall like like a george kittle card but we'll talk more about season two probably next market monday and the following after i just wanted to give you guys kind of a confirmed date that i think it's like 90 percent to me that it's going to be december 3rd the friday following blitz the friday before the christmas promo but now we're going to be moving into our harvest part two predictions and for the heroes this is kind of just a like out of the like i'm going to say walter payne or barry sanders one of the two is going to get the legend for this week and then the two current day cards i'll say for defense bobby wagner or khalil mack these aren't really predictions there's straight guesses we're not going to be investing in these cards because they could be they've shown chase young well chase young we kind of was due for a card antonio brown is out of the blue on offense we probably i mean we could get a quarterback i i really don't have a clue on who we get maybe kyler murray or lamar jackson i have no idea but what we do know is we are getting six more of those 92 overall hero cards that you get back as end cats from the champion sets and that is what we're going to be targeting in terms of our investments and my true predictions right we look looking back at this this week's pretty much the 82 over cards. The Frank Ragno a core leap from about 8,000 coins peaked at about 25 to 30,000 coins, and even Zadarius Smith went from about four to five thousand to ten thousand coins. This is where the profit is going to be made, and it's on the 92 overall, basically hero card. So looking, I know I updated this list basically for harvest but this is kind of the list of all the teams that have gotten a 90 plus overall card so far in this promo there's about 15 teams left of course we know we're getting 692s we're getting 490 overalls and then of course you have the champions the limited time cards but we can't really target those because it's a needle in the haystack for like who would have thought jabril peppers was going to get a limited he'd already gotten a card this year nothing really said jabril peppers is due for a card so we can't really invest in basically a one in like 200 players but what we can invest in is basically core elites that have not gone up grades so far yet this year three of them last week hit in Darius Smith Kenny Moore and Frank Ragno although we didn't invest in those cards specifically because we did not know the content basically scheduled that harvest part one we invested personally in the Thanksgiving all-stars and we did hit we got three out of the six right but unfortunately they did not don't even require power up so we didn't make anything off those but now knowing forward that we know the harvest part 2 kind of content structure we can predict and try to invest in those 92 overall heroes so for the offensive side of the ball i'm gonna give three predictions on offense three predictions on defense because we're getting six total cards if i get one or two right hopefully it's good for the first one kind of passed over it mark andrews is gonna be my prediction the baltimore ravens do not have a card we haven't gotten a tight end other than tj hawkinson mark andrews is my prediction for that chris carson the seahawks haven't had a card yet there's really only two running backs that haven't gone core elite dalvin cook and chris carson i think dalvin cook is due for a higher overall card he could get like a champion card realistically but we already got kirk Cousins, so i don't know about that but chris carson is gonna be my second prediction for the offensive side of the ball and then trent brown we talked about this card in market monday patriots don't have a card and if trent brown were to get an upgrade 
Raiders theme team, he'd probably be a pretty hot commodity in terms of choosing him as an end cat. So really, if you can pick up Mark Andrews as an 84 overall, I'd say under 8.5. Uh, Chris Carson, I don't really know to invest in because he's not going to be super fast. Trent Brown, I'd pick him up at 7.5k or cheaper. Denzel Ward is the first defensive 92 overall hero card. I know he's a 9.4 right now. I have bought a ton of them, all for under 7.5k. That's only 1,000 above, basically, the 83 overall coins per trading or the cheapest 83 overall is around like 6.5k. So if you can pick up... Denzel Ward for 7.5k. Do that. Derwin James, my next prediction. Currently, he's 11.8k. I've actually tried to sell off a couple because I was buying him all last week for pretty much anything under 6,000 coins. I would do the same for you. On any of these cards, you have to be buying them close to the trading discard for their overall. 82s basically are like 4,000 coins. So 6,000 coins or less for Derwin James. If you have Derwin James, Anytime I think it goes above 9,000 coins that you should be trying to sell off. Of course, with all these investments, we want to sell off about 80% of them going into our harvest. We make our coins off selling into the hype, and I'll get into my favorite selling into hype player in my binder. But the last card, the 92 overall hero, I'm just going to go with Byron Burns. Brian Burns. Brian Burns, sorry. It could have been Eric Armstead. The Niners don't have a card, but I'm just going to go with the Panthers. Brian Burns, and currently, if you go into my binder, these are all the cards I have invested in. I do have a Lane Johnson because the Eagles don't have a card, and if he were to get a card, I think he'd be, again, like Trent Brown, he would really spike up. And then, this is Cleo Mack. I don't think Cleo Mack is going to get a card just because we already have two bears in Allen Robinson and Eddie Jackson. However, Cleo Mack is, like, probably the most popular core elite other than Tyreek Hill that's due to get a card. And pretty much every week leading up to any promo, he will rise. I've been buying him all weekend for 25,000 coins or less, and he's already at 31,000. If he gets up to 34, 35,000, I'm going to sell off probably 90%. I think I have like 12 or 13 Cleo Max. I want to be going into the Harvest Promo Part 2 reveal with like one or two at most. The profit we've seen over the last couple promos, it's just made in the hype. If you sold Aaron Donald... At, in the hype, you made a shit ton. If you kept them until after he got announced, you lost a lot of coins. So that's our real plan going forward. And investments as a whole, I want to talk about this a little bit. I know a lot of people in my comments have basically in Discord been like, yo, like when should I buy Tyreek Hill? Like we think Tyreek Hill is going to be one of our main blitz investments. However, with the market the way it is and every week getting content and the market as a whole kind of just dropping a level and a couple of coins for training in terms of training every single week. Yeah, we like we we know Tyreek Hill is gonna be our blitz investment this weekend, but like people will be asking like, why don't I just buy Tyreek Hill this last weekend? Well, what the market is, you'd be buying Tyreek Hill at pretty much like fifty thousand coins this past weekend. However, this upcoming weekend, because they're just every basically car just drops a little bit in terms of value. We're probably gonna be buying Tyreek Hill at like forty thousand coins. So yeah, you bought Tyreek Hill at fifty thousand coins last weekend, and it was a good investment at the time because it was the cheapest Tyreek Hill at the time. But just from a week to week perspective, the market just drops as a whole. We basically want to pick up our investments the week before we think they're going to get a card that basically the latest date we can get these cards before they basically start to go up in prices of the hype. So Tyree Kill, we're going to be targeting this weekend. I'll talk more about Blitz investments on Thursday's episode, but it's kind of why I haven't mentioned any like Blitz or Christmas basically investments or cards that are due. Like, I know, for example, one of the cards we were talking about was Dante Jackson. If Dante Jackson were to get a card, why don't we just invest in him right now? Well, if you open up that kind of secondary promo, like upgrade, you open basically any card get an upgrade. And, well, you don't want to buy Dante Jackson right now as an 84 that are going for 10,000 coins, where if Dante Jackson were to get a card in like two months, an 84 is probably going for like 5,000 coins. So it wouldn't be a good investment to buy right now. You want to try to target investments the latest date you can and usually the best time to buy is a week the weekend before they are about to get a card or we think they're gonna get a card in terms of some other news to kind of wrap up this video we are since we're getting an overall update all promos basically will get a plus one so our flashbacks on wednesday will be i think 492s and 193 but that does mean we're getting 93 reduxes this weekend so if you have any limited time cards like i have a ronnie hudson i'm gonna try to sell him off either tomorrow or Wednesday before they announce that we're getting Redux. And then lastly, the Bo Jackson news. You saw Madden actually tweeted out kind of a Bo Jackson clip, like Bo Jackson's back confirmed 1119. However, I still think this has something to do, and like the hit sticks said, the GOAT, it has something to do with the MCS tournament. That's like the Thanksgiving tournament, because it starts again on 11 the 19th. So I think he's going to be like that Tyree kill card where you have to watch, you have watch time, you get tokens, you get Bo Jackson. But yeah, I think that is all for this Market Monday. A solid, juicy 20-minute video. 
hopefully, probably when you guys are listening, this is probably like my third or fourth take doing this. It took a long time, so support the channel, like if you enjoyed, comment if you have any questions. The Discord link, of course, is in the description. Subscribe if you're new. Until tomorrow's No Money Spent video, peace.